What is up everyone? Sunny D97 and today we are switching it up. We are going back in time. This is March 2019. We are on our way to Denver, Colorado. We caught the early, the first flight you can possibly get out of Spokane, Washington and we are in the air currently right now. As you see there, we're getting closer to Colorado. The awesome morning skies you can see the snow yeah everything looked awesome I do believe our flight left at I think 5 30 or 6 and we made it to Denver it was a non-stop and those are usually usually the cheapest ones and as you see there we're entering Denver International Airport we go from the nice morning skies to cloudy and I'll talk about this particular Friday later on in the video. You will see how crazy it got. Mind you, it's Colorado in March. Late March or mid-March. There we are. We are entering Denver. We got the big sign. I did not get the welcome greeting from Ellen Roach, the PA announcer for the Avalanche. Or I think this was uh, before the Gabriel Landeskog greeting. But there we are. We're walking to baggage claim. Pretty cool. Um, this is another airport that I'm marking off my list. And I just had to get the structure of it. Everything looks really like fresh and nicely kept at Denver International Airport. We did get a rental car. Our rental car was a little Ford Focus, I believe. And after we got our baggage and our luggage, we went to go eat breakfast. There you go, Freddy Steak Burger. Hamburger, the cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. Uh, we ate at the one in Montana, in Missoula. So we had prior knowledge of Freddy Steak Burger. And there's our order right there. I, I do believe, oh yeah, see there's our fries, fry sauce. Fry sauce was really good. I'm I'm really picky about fry sauce. And that was really good. And there's my order. The I think I got the double bacon cheeseburger. The double bacon steak burger. A lot of fries. And of course I'm a sucker for spicy chicken sandwiches. I had to get it. I do believe I saved this chicken sandwich for later because that filled me up. Mind you, I'm still about 300 pounds in 2019. And even that was a lot for me back then. So after this, we did go to Morning Skate. But nothing too memorable happened at Morning Skate. So we met up with our family after Morning Skate. And long story short, we ended up here at Bangkok, Tokyo in Aurora. Colorado outside of Denver and this was a nice place as you see right here uh, they told us usually when we eat with our family they usually tell us we got it so we go by whatever they order and they usually know how to order up and like I said this was after a long day of traveling morning skate we did the whole morning skate thing I did get pictures but the video really didn't turn out that good and also, it wasn't really clear video because, well, number one, um, there's a white protective netting, like, you know, kind of like in the uh, hockey arenas. So not much good video. This was at Walmart after we ate and came back to our room. As you see, it's snowing and we had a rental car with no snow tires. It This was so random and yes, I understand Colorado in March, but yeah, this was really cool, random, and we head back to our room, and now we are at the Pepsi Center, which is now called Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. We are waiting to go into Pepsi Center for the game, Chicago Blackhawks at Colorado Avalanche. We did show up early because we were told that the team store opens two hours or no an hour before the doors open but we get there and that was a lie well like it wasn't a lie it just didn't happen 
But luckily we had VIP entrance, so we got in a half hour before the public. And that was pretty cool. It pays to have family who have season tickets, so that was really cool. I got myself a jersey, a new era fitted hat, especially for my size, size 8. You rarely see size 8 hats, especially for us big heads. Now, outside of Pepsi Center, there are a few things such as like this, like historical moments in Pepsi Center, as you see here. I think this is particularly avalanche based. You got the uh, the retirement ceremonies, the NHL record for sellouts. I do believe they have team accomplishments too, like all the division titles that they won, especially when they were a powerhouse in the late 90s, early 2000s. And yeah, they had all the team accomplishments. And then look, as you see there, they had the flute team, 2013-14 Central Division champs. Well, anyway, on to better things. We got the memories are played here, and who can forget the greatest Stanley Cup handoff ever? Sackick to Bort, Gary Thorne with the greatest call of all time. The Stanley Cup winning Colorado Avalanche, and after 22 years, Raymond Mark! I swear that call gets me every time. Okay, we are now entering Pepsi Center. Like I said, our family has the season tickets, VIP pass, or whatever it's called. So we get in a half hour before doors open. I'm getting a shot of the exterior part. There's my family right there. I do believe this would be considered the main concourse that we're going up to. I like Ball Arena. Like, I was impressed, even though it was made in the late 90s. And now the next moment is what I love. That feeling when you're walking down the aisle to your section of your seats and you see the Jumbotron in the background playing, banners hanging up above a dark arena, and it's just silent except for the arena music. A couple people there, but it's not enough to where it, like, it makes a difference. But to see an empty arena right before it's filled like maximum capacity sold out with with thousands of fans about to lose their mind for the next two and a half to three hours there's no other feeling like this to me anyway i uh this is why i love attending live events because of that rush you know especially the calm before the storm you know look at you see there's the guy adjusting the or walking with the net and then you got the ushers you got the the ice rink crew and then within an hour or so it's going to be packed and ready to go i i just love this feeling i wish i could do a whole tour of 32 stadiums for sure next up will be the pre-game warm-ups i went down below and from here on out this will be the phone audio so enjoy I apologize for the messed up audio. Pre-game warm-ups. We're on the Colorado side. They work to ensure the safety of all Colorado Avalanche fans and Pepsi Center visitors. For more information, please visit them at phantomk9.com. The Ram Trucks Avalanche Ice Girls are signing autographs outside Section 142 during player the player warm-up. Ram through. Trucks is proud to be the official pickup truck of your Colorado Avalanche. Ram.
as performed today by Jake Schroeder. Avalanche penalty, a bench minor. Two minutes for too many men on the ice. Time of the penalty, five minutes, 36 seconds of the first period. Penalty minutes served by number 18, Derek Broussard. Say, first thing that goes your vision. <laughs> Brandon Zott, two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 17 minutes, 39 <laughs> seconds of the first period.
Chicago Blackhawks goal scored by number 19, Jonathan Taves, assisted by number 95, Dylan Secura, time for the goal, 5 minutes, 20 seconds of the second period, Taves from Secura at 520. Time of the penalty, 12 minutes, 58 seconds of the second period. Oh, fuck me. game. 
Sunday morning, we are at Smash Burger before we catch our flight back to Spokane, Washington. Yes, I still have that hat and it is very much beat up looking. I got the double bacon cheeseburger with the tater tots. We're at Smash Burger. I've only ate at two Smash Burgers ever one in California and one in Aurora. And we should just checked out of our room and we're on our way back to Denver International Airport. There's our rental. We're about to take it back and flying back to Spokane. This is Sunday. We did land at a good time and there's our shuttle back to the airport. At this time, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please go ahead and subscribe. Please like the video. Please leave helpful comments on what I could do better. And thank you for watching and you enjoy yourself.